decided we're gonna play Ah uh, the test because it's a good game that I've seen other playthroughs of it and it's very interesting. Now in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You'll be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with the truth, even if that's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We really want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live just like... Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? The process is very simple in theory, just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truth in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. As long as the answers you provide to the question asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is a human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand or realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, which I have now. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions provided that you are a willing participant will be unlocking substantial information today. Here we go. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated fairly? Mm. Yeah, I, I believe in giving everyone at least a chance. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated equally? No, some people actually have more needs than other people, like disabled people and stuff, so they should be given a little more attention and stuff like that than, you know, the regular person that can get around by themselves. Have I ever invented anything? No. Not in my lifetime, as far as I know. Do you believe you're worthy of someone's time investment? I think I'd like to be, yeah. Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? I mean, yeah. Would you say you sometimes have trust issues? Yes, I do have trust issues. Would you be alright with living alone forever? I mean, the most I got is my cat, so I guess so. Do I always give someone the benefit of the doubt? Obviously. Dislike the sound of your own voice. I'm neutral. I'm neutral towards my voice. I don't really care. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Yes. I love blue. If you found money in the street and knew who I belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yes, if I knew who it was, I would. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? <sighs> Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh god, yes, I'm terrified of spiders. Don't bring them near me. If uh, I knew I would emerge unscathed, would you jump in 
If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? I mean, it'd be nothing but pain. Even if you come out unscathed, do you still feel the sensation of your nerds being lit on fire? So no. No, I'm not fat. I am actually very average. <laughs> Weight and height. Glass of charisma. I mean, I'm friendly, but I don't see myself being charismatic. <laughs> Have I ever wished I'd be template or frozen? Like, frozen in time? No, I never wished to be temporarily frozen. This is all very interesting. Did you realize the last- No, I didn't know the last letter of the five previous questions would put their spell say No, I did not. Does that make you uncomfortable with that? Really? No. Hi, Aries. This is my cat. He is beside me right now. Are you good at finding him puzzles or clues? Probably not. <laughs> And am I not wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? No. Not really. Have I been entirely honest with my answers this far? I would think so. I'm afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly. A little bit, yeah. Where was I aware that there could be potential cons for answering this honestly? Um, I mean, yes, considering you made it a point to be very honest. Come on. Here he is, the man himself. Can't see him? He's here. All up on my keyboard. Play my video game, please. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to see the screen, mister. Uh, what are you- <laughs> I didn't even get the chance to answer, but I can't answer for me. <laughs> He's decided I had to move my entire keyboard so he could lay specifically under my desk. No, because my cat <laughs> distracted me. <laughs> Very interesting. Would you consider myself to be brave? No, I am uh, terrified of horror in anything. Do I view myself as someone with above average intelligence? No, I think I'm average. I feel like if you're looking for a hidden message in these questions? No. <laughs> Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? Not really. <laughs> We're gonna wonder how long this test will take or how many questions that exist in this session? No. Would I consider myself to be a patient person? Yes, I am. I've been told that I'm a patient person. Do most humans annoy you? No, not. People don't really annoy me. They can upset me with their actions. Do I prefer animals to people? I mean, answer literally right there. <laughs> He's laying right there, so. Do I believe in magic? Yeah, I think some things can be beyond forces of human. Do I believe in God and existence of some form of higher power? I don't believe in God, but I believe in an existence of some form of higher power. 
Do I fear death? No. No, I've... <laughs> I've been too much touch and go with death to be afraid of it at this point. Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? Nope. Yes, I answered it with 100% honesty. Am I alone? Yeah. Do I count Aries as being entirely alone? That's the question. Otherwise there's no one else but me in my room. Yeah, I guess. No. If I told you without most certainty that there is something watching you, would you believe me? No. Have you wondered who I am? I, my guess is the creator of the game. Have you ever had shivers at any point during the session? No. It's winter, but I'm not cold. Do I feel like I'm being watched? Well, yes, now that you've mentioned it, yeah. Have I considered qu quitting this session early? No. Is this a game? Do I drink water every day? I'm pretty sure I do. Yes, I do eat at least once per day every day. I'm not gonna let myself starve. Do I realize it is a high probability that I've missed a plethora of hidden messages so far? No, because I'm not looking for hidden meaning. Did I miss another one? No! Bro, if you want to give yourself hidden meaning, go for it. I don't care, I'm taking things that are. Would it ever bother me to, Would it ever bother you to never know without finding them yourselves? No, not really. Is it my favorite number is seven? No! It's actually 14. I have a sure as long as single ever do. You agree? <laughs> You're literally alive for your whole life, so yes. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? I mean, they are fruit, but they're completely different fruit. So, no. I, I do agree that they aren't the same. Venus something referred to as a morning star. Do I know that? No, I didn't. One deserves a second chance. Do you agree? Yes. You can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? No, there are physical limitations in life that sometimes you have to live with. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? No. Underwater adventure sounds like a fun time. Do you agree? Actually, yeah. Well, and diving sounds fun. Did you I realize the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase, I love you? <laughs> no, I didn't, but thank you. Do you wish to be loved? I mean, everyone wants to be loved. Have I ever felt hated? Yes. I have felt extremely hated in my life. Do I have any addictions? No, not really. I do dislike the color pink, but only because it's so strong on my eyes that it physically hurts me to like stare at it. Like neon pink, I can't look at it without getting a headache. Does the color gray seem depressing? No, not really. It's a color. Do I enjoy loud music? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do I like dance? In private. In private. Not around people. Would I consider myself? No. 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 
I am so neurodivergent. I have autism. Do I love my parents? No, not with the things that they put on me. Have I ever been lied to? Yes. Do you get angry often? <sighs> it's something I'm working on, but yes. Do I hold grudges? No. Have you ever forgiven someone? God. The amount of times. Have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done, but still did it anyways? I mean, yes, but I usually wasn't thinking when I was doing it because I was upset. Have I ever lied? Yeah. Have I ever cheated on a test? Once in elementary school. <laughs> he won't cheat this test. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Both are actually very pretty in my opinion. I'm a very outdoorsy person where I, I will like to sit around flowers and trees and just sort of be quiet and but I think trees are nicer ever want to be an animal instead of a person cat life yes do you believe you have psychic problems no no I don't have you ever seen a ghost? Yes, I have. I have photographic proof. Do I dream often? No, I don't. I have medication that doesn't let me dream. Do I have nightmares often? No, because the medication knocks me out. Do I suffer from anxiety attacks? Yes, I do. I, I also suffer from depression. Do I exercise often? Stay active? I mean, I walk to work to and back from work all the time, so I guess that's pretty active. Is there a particular type of food I despise? Yes. I hate mashed sweet potatoes. Do not put them near me. <laughs> Would you consider yourself an emotionally wounded? Yeah, I mean, I have trauma. Have I ever felt betrayed? Yeah, trauma. Do you ever feel lost in life? Yes, trauma. <laughs> Would you ever, would you consider yourself a natural leader? No. No. No, I'm not. <laughs> if you push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? No. <laughs> I live here. Why? Do I sometimes dream of being a hero? I mean, everyone has at least once in their life. Have I ever been bullied? Yes. Have you ever bullied someone else? Yes. I'm not proud to admit it, but I have. Would you consider myself would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? Yeah. Do I sometimes hurt pe do you sometimes hurt people unintentionally? Yes, because the trait of being autistic is poor communication and I suck at it. Find space fascinating. I I love space. I wanna to go to space. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? I paint. So yes. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? No, I I feel like I'm an average friend. I'm not a good friend. But I consider would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes. Have you fantasized pumping a super belt or performing an Angus slash a glorious crime? Uh, nah. I haven't. Do you believe in perfection? No. Perfection is impossible. Have you ever stolen from someone? I've stolen from stores, but not from a person. Would I ever kill someone under any circumstances? No, I don't think I would be able to. Hey, one day to live, would you tell anyone? 
No. Like, I love people and, like, I love my family, but I don't want my last moments being spent in grief. I would rather enjoy the last day of my life with the people I care about without making them sad. Have I ever told my darkest secrets to someone? Yes, I have. Do I, do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? Well, you haven't done anything, so sure. Do you know who I am? Creator! If I peer behind you right now, would you scream? I think anyone would just scream at someone in appearing in the room <laughs> just materializing out of the blue like that if i told you that i've been behind you this entire time would that scare you no because you're not actually here <laughs> of course not that would be silly now wouldn't it would you consider yourself to be empathetic Yes, it's a detriment to my health. Would you consider yourself to be a romantic? Yes. Have I ever been in a physical fight? Yes, I did not start it, but I finished it. Am I prone to headaches or migraines? Yes. Do I look at the ground? Do you look at the ground when you walk? Yeah? I attracted to the opposite sex. I I'm Arrow Ace. But I- Would you ever shave your head? No, I have psoriasis and it would flare really bad if I did that. And my- Are you attracted to muscular bodies? I mean- Do you ever dance when no one is looking? Yes. Do you trust your best friend entirely? I don't have a best friend anymore, so- <laughs> Do you remember your childhood extremely well? No, traumatized. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? No. I don't have the means nor ability to. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? No. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? Yes, I have had dreams about falling. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? No. <laughs> do you enjoy scary movies or books? I do enjoy them, but I... I'm very lenient. And I won't watch, like, super, like, Japanese horror. I cannot. I will scream. <laughs> do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Yes. Do you like being the center of attention? Absolutely not. Do you feel like something is always watching you? No. Have you wondered what it'd be like to go to space? Yes! God! I wanna go! <laughs> Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Yes. Have you ever- <laughs> dogs better than cats. No, I like both. Because I used to have a dog, but she passed away. So now I just have cats, so. Do you prefer to read more or do you prefer to watch movies? Oh, read more than I watch movies. No, I've I haven't picked up a book in a long time. Are you still wanting my ass to get <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> What's that about? Get it? Do you get starstruck easily? I mean, yeah. Take going to big parties and social gatherings, yes. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? No, it's... If ac anyone actually shows up. Seriously. <laughs> no! <laughs> I have never... Why do you want to know? <laughs> yeah. No, I did not say that out louder in my head. I just laughed. You know, you're gonna somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun. No! <laughs> Why? If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? 
Yeah, probably. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Yes. Do I? No. Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? No. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable? I am a little uncomfortable, not that uncomfortable. Is my mouth dry? No. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? No. Do you believe in legendary bees such as Loch Ness Monster? But I want to believe. Are you poor with money management? Absolutely. Uh, 1, 7, 11, 13, 21. I guess 13 is close. Choose one of these colors that you feel resonates with you in this very moment. Ah, we do. Choose one of the words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Wicked, sing, play, fresh, and talk. Sound sick. Chose one of the words that has resonates with a very less glorious divine angelic heavenly celestial. Oh, we're talking about celestial bodies a lot, so. She's one of the words I feel resonates with most in this very upscale jelly and blood I'm charmed by this game. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? I'm I can't math. Do you speak more than one language fluently? No. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? No. Do you enjoy coffee? No, I like tea more. Do you believe in demons? Yeah. Do you believe in angels? Yes. Are you afraid of sharks? No, they're adorable sea puppies. Do you prefer baths over showers? Yes, I like baths. But I take showers for the convenience. Does the smell of perfume on cologne give you headaches? Unless it's really strong, no. Did you see a shadow moving in your room a few moments ago? Nope. I did not. That's fortunate. Do you ever hear a name being called even when you know no one is calling it? I mean, sometimes, yes. Do you think sending your home got go missing and repeated later? Yes. Do you ever hear footsteps around when you're alone? Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? No. Do you often look at this same time on the clock every day? Mm, I mean, yeah. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night? Well, no. I never want to experience that. Never. Yes. You just saw him. Is my favorite color green? No, it's blue! Are you checked on family member? Absolutely not. If one lie, would you share money with anyone? Yes. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? No. Do you ever want to be like to be in prison? No! Do you like fishing? I've only fished once or twice, but it's fun. Do you like hunting? I haven't tried hunting, so probably not. Do you like camping? I have camped. It's nice. Do you like guns? Absolutely not. Are you getting tired of answering questions? No. Oh. <laughs> you can see yourself to be kinky. <laughs> Don't at me. Eyes are the window of the soul. Do you agree? Yes. Do you always keep your promises? I try my very best to. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? No. Are you an only child? No. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? No. I get sad. <laughs> Do you like tattoos? Yes. I want to get some one day. Do I enjoy being high in any form? Yes. I take miracle marijuana because I have a physical disability that causes me to be constantly in pain. So, yeah. Do you believe you have a soul? Yes. Did you cry this week? Yeah. 
Are you stuck with someone right now? No. It was kind of a my fault thing, so if anything, the person's upset with me rather than me upset with them, it, it's my fault. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? No, I'm being pretty straightforward. Do you understand how this works yet? Yes. You give me questions, I answer. If you answer the questions twice, your truth may change. It's not about the answering the questions, it's about the time you spend answering them and the combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables you never guessed. Do you understand? Yes. How many of the ends that's coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? No, not really. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention, would you believe that? No. I feel like it's a thing for everyone. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Yeah. Are you afraid of dying alone? No. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? <laughs> I should hope not. Are you always on guard waiting to fend off an attack? Hypervigilance cause of trauma. Do you feel, feel like I know you yet? No. I mean, you scratched the surface on stuff, but not... Have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? No. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skip questions, answered honestly, or decidedly, you took off. Loads of tiny responders answer quickly without reading or understanding properly. I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. <laughs> I'm an I'm being perceived. <laughs> I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Based on what you told me, this is what I can conclude. This is all going to sound very blunt and direct, but listen up. You've got to start taking life a bit more seriously. Okay? I hate to start this off so bluntly, but you need a swift kick in the ass. I'm just being real and honest with you right now. You've got so much potential, you're not taking advantage of it. You can blame others around you, you can blame your circumstances, you can blame yourself, but no matter what happens, none of that matters. This is what you need to get going, and you need to get the ball rolling. Do you even realize that you could be a major star? Do you even realize just how incredibly talented you are? You don't, do you? You don't even understand how much potential you hold within. Or maybe you do realize it and that's what you're afraid of. Maybe it's not a fear of failure, but a fear of success. You're holding yourself back subconsciously. And you know what? Maybe you've already accomplished a lot. Maybe you feel like you've already done enough. Maybe you and I both know that you could go further if you really wanted to. You need to pull your head up. <laughs> oh. Dang, dang, dang. You need to pull my your head out of your ass and get your shit together because the world needs you more than any needs you more than you could even manage. You're going to do amazing things in life only if you decide to. I know this wasn't what you were expecting, maybe it isn't what you wanted to hear, but enough time has been squandered. Seriously, you are an impressive specimen. You could do incredible things and not just one or two. You can do a lot of amazing stuff if you really put your mind to it. It's absolutely imperative, however, that you stop looking for reasons not to get things done. You turn your brain off for a while. Stop thinking, just do it. Stop dreaming, just that. Get started immediately. Stop taking breaks. Stop procrastinating because here's the biggest truth. Your time is ticking away. You can still be a major success, even more so than what you've already managed to accomplish in life at your highest point. But yet, chances are further limited as the sand of the hourglass falls, so get going. It doesn't matter what you've done. It matters what you still got left to do. Yesterday doesn't mean... Yesterday don't mean she's. And today's the day we got to face. I know this sounds really harsh, but I promise you it comes from a place of love and adoration because I want you to be the best possible version of yourself for you to go as far as you know that you can inside. Please, I urge you. Do not waste your potential and shoot for what you've always wanted to accomplish while you still have the time to do so. You never know when your time will run out. Your secret word is CHAOS! I am chaos, I guess. Your secret word is chaos. Just remember this word, this will come in handy.
Take the circuit word that was assigned you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project that we are currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be part of history. This is a chance for you to become for you to be part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments that you leave and we will always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. And those have been of some help to you. If, if they aren't yet, it'll all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. You can find the test, hypothesis rights in the test, final revelation, and a testing chamber on Steam if you enjoyed this installment. You can also find the Journey series, the Advisor series, and we which we encourage everyone to try. Ugh. So I do have the Hypothesis Rising and the Final Revelation. I don't have the Testing Chamber. I have the Advisor, Episode 1, but that's it. So that we're going to continue this as a little personal series, I guess, for this. But I guess the most that I get from this if you'd like to support us further or try other games, you can find a link to all of our titles on the title screen of this game under the section of other games. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate you. So that was the test. The first of three. And honestly, I did have a previous word before when I took this. I obviously changed a lot instead of being... Instead of chaos, I got something else, but this time I'm seeing the change of where I... It's telling me I do have potential and I need to put that potential out into the world, and... I am working on that with therapy and stuff, so... But anyways, if you like this game, go check it out, it's on Steam. Uh... If you like my video in my channel subscribe i have a thing on youtube same name uh but anyways thanks for joining i'll see you guys another time